I'm not, oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So here we are. And we are day five, right? Day five. Okay. Day five and alive, right? So um, I'm going to be talking today about uh, um, do not react when they attack. Yeah, it's day six if you count the day off. Okay. Um, do not react when they attack. That is going to be the hardest thing for you to do. Okay. Who loves drugs? I do. I love drugs. I love really good drugs and understand something. Do how many people know that your brain is a pharmacopoeia? How many people know that actually the drugs that they make that are toxic, they actually try to duplicate what your brain makes, except your brain doesn't make the toxic ones like them that are addictive, except for adrenaline and cortisol, okay? So adrenaline and cortisol are addictive. Those are the two drugs that are addictive that the body makes. Now, they're only addictive because you don't have unconditional love for yourself because your parents didn't, your grandparents didn't, and your, your friends don't, and your neighbors don't, and the world doesn't, okay? We're talking about, honest to God, one out of a thousand people have unconditional love for themselves. And those people have got to the point that they know that they're not disrespecting themselves or anyone else, but everybody else who doesn't do it thinks they're disrespecting. So even if you have unconditional love and you never react, okay, and attack somebody who attacks you, the guess what, okay, they're going to be pissed off because guess what they want? They use you to guess what, to manufacture, okay, to manufacture the crack cocaine in their head called adrenaline and cortisol and understand this okay right okay you know the people in here that are crackheads okay because you're cracked you're cracked you're a crackhead crackhead okay crackhead okay crackhead crackhead okay crackhead all right I could keep going you guys are crackheads and the reality is is this as you don't even know it. You, you, because guess what? And you get off on it. How many people know that when you start dumping adrenaline, that guess what? Anything more than three minutes does brain damage. That's why, guess what? Why do you think that there's so many people in here that are depressed? Because you're crackheads. Okay, because you look for drama trauma. I'm not picking on you, but you better get this because today it ends. The other day, you first thing you first thing in the morning, you wanted to come in and tell me a story that had nothing to do with anything we're doing, so that you could just, you know, get your adrenaline rush. And then I cut you off, and I said, "No, drug addict, you can't have it, and I'm not going to be your dealer." And that pissed you off. But guess what? When you're trying to come off drugs, okay, whether they're prescription or whether they're the hack, hack. So you've got the dose, which is dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, which are all the love drugs, baby. And that means you'd have to love yourself. So guess what? I'm triggering, and you can trigger dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins all day long by a slight smile connected to your breath and actually staying in the present moment and saying, yes, I am beautiful. No matter what anybody else thinks, because most people aren't thinking anyways. And the reality is, is this, is people aren't trying to hurt you. They're trying to use you, okay, to go into a drama trauma moment so that they can dump their adrenaline. Oh my God, look at this. I haven't done it for three days. Let's cause an explosion here and just go right off the rails. You'll never see me go off the rails because I know what you're doing. You're trying to use me to be your pusher. I am not your drug pusher. And you use me to push the button so that you say, oh, well, it wasn't me that dumped the adrenaline, the histamine, and the cortisol. It w look, at, look at what he did or she did. You know what? They exhausted me. No, I didn't. And guess what? You don't exhaust me either. So you, did you ever notice that when we're doing the class here and it's 315 and Shelly says it's time for me to blow, I'm an hour past my blow? my my blow 
Okay. Oh, sorry. She's an hour past her blow. Then she's going to try to what? Cause me, upset me, so that I attack her so that she can dump her adrenaline and get her drug. You're not getting away with it. Do you understand now why I've been stopping people? Have I said during the last four days, please shut up? Please shut up? I can't say be quiet. I mean, shut up and shut down. Why are you terrorizing yourself? Well, because I need to have my rush. And guess what? In my family, whoever suffered the most, loved the most. Oh, really? How's that working for you? Cancer queen, heart attack queen, diabetic queen, obesity queen. How's that working for you? How's that working for you? Do you get it? Nobody's allowed to have one little tantrum, okay, for the next four days. I know. I know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And it's going to be rough, but we can get through it. Okay? Because we're not going to do it. Screw it. We're not doing it. Do you understand? You're not doing it. Okay? We're all going into emotional detox. It's called emotion, energy and motion. And you've never learned how to, what? You will never be in charge of your emotions until you have unconditional love. <laughs> Listen to me, a priest, a pastor, okay, a rabbi. They don't have unconditional love. There might be one or two of them, but they don't. They have faith. I have faith. Oh, really? Really? Then why do you, why are you on so much medication? If you have faith, why do you medicate yourself? If you're on, if you have faith, don't give me the crap. What is faith? Faith is knowing to stay in the present moment because the only time that you are going to be connected to the creator, the source, God, Jehovah, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. It's when you're connected to your breath and, you, and, the, and you've got that God spot right here that you can just push anytime you want that releases the dose, which is the dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. I don't know what God is, but I love it. Hmm. You know, it's my strength. And it's different. Mine is different than yours. Yours is different than hers. Your, hers is different than his. Understand that. And let's just allow it. Well, what about this? What about who cares what religion, what color, what language, okay? All right? As long as the person is happy and healthy. What about that? What about that, guys? What about that? So react and attack, okay? Black lives matter. Oh, really? I think all lives matter, but I will tell you, black lives really need to matter because understand something. When, they, when I hear that, I think about Africa. And that's really where slavery really got its foothold. Uh, how long ago? 150,000 years ago. No, actually, let me think. What was no, it was 250,000 years ago. It was 250,000 years ago. I'm wrong. That's where it is because that's the original humans. The original humans are from Africa. And of course, it is the richest continent in the world. And that's why they keep everybody poor. That's why they keep a desert. That's why they keep everybody enslaved. I mean, Jesus, there's a mine there that has 40,000 children working in it still, and they're all slaves. And meanwhile, we're here doing a brave heart circle, trying to get rid of our tantrums. Are you like out of your skull? You don't know this? The reason why they don't want you going to Africa and the reason why they're, they, they, get, they go in there, they do the worst things in Africa than anywhere else in the world is because it's the richest in oil, in mining, in, oh my God, the, the riches there are unbelievable. And also, it was the beginning of humankind was Africa. So be kind. And please, if you want to say a prayer, say a prayer for Africa, because it's the elites and the psychos, okay, that are raping Africa. And they are fight that these elites and psychos are fighting each other to take Africa's everything. Okay, so the black people that we used to call niggers, they were the beginning, they were the beginning of humankind on this planet. 
I will never allow myself to have anybody ever come into me. I love everyone, no matter what color, how tall, what they even do. If everybody here said, I'm going to have unconditional love for everyone, no matter what they do, the world would change overnight. You never judge again. Yes, but we need justice. And that's why we react and attack. Because there is no such thing as justice. Justice is inner peace. Justice is sitting down with someone and not uh, putting them in judgment jail, physically or emotionally. It is sitting down and going, why did you hurt that girl? Why did you kill? Why did you steal? What is wrong? If you were to come from love, the whole world would change. It would take maybe a couple of generations. Maybe it wouldn't. But nobody's ever tried it before because guess what? We need jails to jail people like animals and then feed them crap. You know, when they stop feeding the prisoners sugar and so much bad animal protein, okay, guess what? Their whole thing changed. And understand something. 95% of everybody that's in a psycho ward, if you cleaned up their diet completely, they'd all leave, 95%. They're supposed to be there because you taxpayers, you're paying for all the drugs that are, they're being fed. Okay, listen, human beings, do not react and attack, okay? Sit back, connect to your breath, takes three lion heart breaths, six seconds in, seven seconds out. You know what, there's not gonna be a one person not one system that will ever be able to attack me within a year. Because everybody's going to know who I am. And, that, and uh, these, these media and the government, they're not going to be able to lie anymore. They're not going to try to make me into the bad guy. Because I'm not the bad guy. And neither are you. Stop reacting. Just because somebody attacks you, doesn't matter what level, yawn. Oh, I'm really bored about this. No, I'm serious. The bigger the roar. Uh, are you done yet? Uh, what was it you said? Uh, that's that's it. I'm I'm over it. Okay, there isn't a person that I'm scared of. You just think that our origins came from Africa, and think about all those people over there. There are people suffering all over the place and understand something. We have it all. You have it all. Even, even, though, even though Canada's going to hell in a basket right now, you still have it all compared to 99% of the population. You still have more, but guess what? You're having tantrums when you come in here and you try to get me to buy into it and I'm not going to. Just know that I love you unconditionally. And if you love somebody unconditionally, then you will, you will be a brave heart and you will risk and you will hold the line for them. Even if they go, you don't care. You don't care about me. The thing is, is that I love you unconditionally and I'm not going to let you set yourself up. Okay. Because you need your blow. What is that? Okay. Everything, everything is a drug. Everything is a drug. And guess what? Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins are all drugs. And do you guys notice that I'm drugged all day? <coughs> I'm drugged all day. There's been a couple times here this week where people have just tried to and I wouldn't allow it. So the lion comes from under his tree and goes roar. And then he goes, I love you. Do you not notice that? I'm not gonna hold on to anything. Look at the shit that you hold on to. Yeah. You know what? If this happens, I'm angry for an hour. If this happens three days, if this three weeks, and after a while you start running programs and you're hurting yourself. I don't care. Why should I care? If you're gonna do that, you're gonna do it with me or without me. So anyways, we were talking and Lori said something to me and I went, Lori, you know what? There's no need to even talk about it. She was going to do it, okay? And we just got in her way. It was 3.15, and it was time to blow. And here I go. And that's it. Remember something. Yes, I'm psycho. 
you can't do 13 whole life coaches every year. And I started them 40 years ago and not go psycho. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. Psychiatrists, psychologists, they're all whacked. Go take a look at their families, a disaster. But then I've got family members in my family that are a disaster. So is that my fault? The world preys on them, don't they? The world preys on your children, preys on your child adults, preys on you. Maybe we should pray a little more for what we want, not for what we don't want. Dear God, please protect us from the evil. Well, you just blew it right there. Dear God, thank you for all the protection that you have given me. My life is so amazing because of you. Not, please, please heal me. No, thanks for healing me. And I don't care what condition you're in. Remember something, if you haven't got something to live for, then you've got something to die for. If you got, haven't got anything to live for, I have got anything to live for. Then you've got lots to die for. But don't think you're going to drag me over the cliff with you. It's not happening. Because I'm just going to get this party started. Thanks for joining us.